Hi everyone, I'm going to be talking today about another common Christian inconsistency. There are so many things taught in the churches today that are not scriptural. And one of those, uh, a major one, is tithing. Tithing is not a new covenant command. Many Christians teach that you must tithe 10% or more of your income, but the scriptures teach that tithing is not a command under the new covenant. We're no longer under the old covenant. Hebrews 7.18 says, For there verily is a disannulling of the commandment going before for the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. The old covenant was only a shadow of the new that was to come and was never intended to be kept after Christ came and sent the Spirit after Pentecost. Hebrews 7.12, For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity also a change of the law. There was a change in the law because the old covenant was for a unruly and, re- and carnal people who did not have the Spirit of God in them. The new covenant is designed for those that have the Spirit of God in them. And you ne- therefore, you no longer need all these strict, detailed rules about giving because the Spirit of God is within people and the Spirit can prompt them to give as they are led. If you're going to tithe, you also have to keep the whole law of Moses, the old covenant. James 2.10 says, For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. And Galatians 5.3 says, For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he's a debtor to do the whole law. So Paul's point in Galatians is you can't pick and choose certain old covenant commands and some to leave out. If you're going to keep the law, you've got to keep the whole law. So if you're being taught to tithe, then you also have to keep these commands from the Old Covenant. In Deuteronomy 22, it says that if a man sleeps with a virgin who is engaged to be married, they're both to be stoned. Deuteronomy 21 says that stubborn and rebellious children are to be taken to the elders of the city who will stone them to death. And finally, you also have to keep all of the Old Testament animal sacrifices, which is going to be very difficult since there is no tabernacle or temple to do the sacrifices in. So, there are commands to give in the New Testament, but there is no specific amount commanded. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, So let let each one of you give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. So we give as we are led. God will give us the means to give, and he'll also give us a joyful heart to give. If it's under compulsion, so that you're doing it begrudgingly or under coercion, then that is not how God wants us to be giving. Galatians 6.6 says, Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. If you look up that word for communicate, it's also used in Philippians when Paul talks about how the Philippians communicated with him in terms of his needs. So it is certainly good to help those that are preaching and teaching the truth to continue to do that like the Philippians helped Paul. But there is no mandated command of how much you have to give. And then James 2, 15 and 16 says, If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them things which are needful for the body, what does it profit? So James is talking about how faith without works is dead. So if you have the things of this world, and those in the body of Christ need physical assistance and you don't do it, then that's disobeying the new covenant, even though there's not specific commands about exactly how much to give. It just says you bear others' burdens and meet others' needs as you have the ability to do so cheerfully. So to learn more about this, you can visit my website, tryingthespirits.com, and search for tithing. There's also a study called The Law of Moses versus The Law of the Spirit that will explain the difference between the Old and the New Covenant. Thank you for listening. I hope this study was a blessing to you.